I have rhombus A, B, C, D. In our hands-on activities, we learned that rhombuses have four equal sides, and since they are a parallelogram, they have opposite sides are parallel, and opposite angles are congruent. Another property of parallelograms that rhombuses have are that the sides in between the parallel, sorry, the angles between the parallel sides are have a sum of 180 degrees. So if we know opposite angles are congruent, that tells us the angle D is equal to 76 degrees. And then the sum of angle C and angle B equals 180 degrees. And here we have angle C is made up of two equal angles, B and C. C. Sorry, that's a lowercase c. And we need to figure out what these two angles are individually. So first we need to figure out what this big angle capital C is. So in order to do that, I'm going to use my properties of parallelograms and rhombuses and subtract 180 and take 76 degrees away from that. And when I do that, I get a difference of 104 degrees. So both of these angles together equal 104 degrees. And as I am looking at this, the reason I knew that B and this lowercase c angle were equivalent was because I have two identical isosceles triangles. So side AB is equivalent to side CB and AD is equivalent to side DC. And we know an isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. So this line right here is cutting this rhombus exactly in half. So that's how we know that this angle and this angle are equivalent. So if I were to draw a bar model to help me, I would know that the lowercase c angle and the are equivalent to 104 degrees. And since they are split in exactly in half, I need to take 104 and divide it by two. And when I do that, I get 52 degrees. So the measurement of angle B is 52 degrees. And the measurement of this lowercase c angle is 52 degrees.